Gwen Reyes with the Dallas International Film Festival. I'm here with Vermilion Cliffs director Hanny Lee and Joe Brown. Thank you so much for uh, chatting with me this morning. So let's talk a little bit about the film. I know it's short and it just played um, Monday and Tuesday as part of our, was it part of the student's block or part of just the short's block? It's a short documentary. Okay, and so it's documentary. Can you just tell us a little bit about, um, I know the film, you follow, you go in and you um, follow around patients at an Alzheimer's clinic. Kind of talk about how you got to that point. Um, I, we would refer them not as patient, but okay. as resident. Okay. Um, these are our advanced Alzheimer and dementia residents that we follow in Phoenix, Arizona. There's this um, nursing home called Beatitude Campus, and they designed a, a particular floor called Vermilion Close, where they take care of Alzheimer's and dementia residents. And um, I will probably mention about the name of the Vermilion Cliffs later if you ask me more questions. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, how did you find that that was the story that you wanted to talk about? Um, my own grand grandparents, mm -hmm. they suffer from Alzheimer's and dementia, Sorry. and my grandfather passed away in 2008. And I found myself collecting articles and research about Alzheimer's. I was not very familiar with the disease, and I came across with this article in uh, on New York Times and it featured the nursing home. This particular nursing home, they have this program where they take care of Alzheimer's and dementia uh, residents. Yes. And did you have trouble um, reaching out, like reaching out to them and coming in and saying that you wanted to record the residents? Yes, I contact the director and um, the director later uh, let me contact the families mm -hmm. and we got some permissions to film the residents there, yes. And were there, because uh, especially since it's a short film, um, what what were your struggles and what were your challenges of kind of going in and, and knowing that these were the stories that you wanted to tell? I would say the biggest challenge uh, while we were there would be because some of the residents, they have short-term memory loss mm -hmm. and some of them have long-term memory loss. So we would find ourselves asking particular residents a couple times in a day, is it okay to film you? and where we're from, we're students, and we would do this repeatedly mm -hmm. throughout <laughs> the days, and that was quite um, interesting and, and challenging. Well, you're, you're kind of, yes. uh, for Joe, for you, uh, going in, did you, were you on set for the shooting as well? Yeah, I was the director of photography, so I was there with Hanny the whole time running the camera, and um, I'm trying to think, we were there maybe four or five four, days? Four and a half, five days, yes. Um, and, so, you know, we were right in the mix with, with all the residents and, and kind of seeing their day-to-day -day lives um, and dealing with the fact that uh, some of them would be open to the idea of us filming, but then 10 minutes later they would not know they who we yeah. were, which was very sad and very difficult. Um, you know. Uh, you, m you mentioned earlier that you wanted to talk a little bit about where the title of the film came from, and can you just talk about that? Yeah, there's a direct quote from the um, director of the nursing home Although weathered, although te tested by dementia, people are still beautiful and have certain strength. And that's the main theme of this film. And how does that uh, go with Vermilion? And Vermilion Cliffs is just the name of the, the floor, right? Yes, the Vermilion Cliffs is the floor, but at the same time in Arizona, this um, erode, well, how would you explain it? Um, there is a ge geographical mm. place called the Vermilion Cliffs and it's just kind of a beautiful old weathered rock face. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of think of the weathered beauty of nature as equivalent to that of the people, the residents living on that unit. And Hanny, um, before we started chatting um, here, you mentioned that when you screened earlier this week, you were the only female director that was mm -hmm. up there. How did that feel for you? Uh, Thankful to my parents that I'm a <laughs> girl, not a boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it was a huge honor that the, the film was able to premiere at Dallas International Film Festival, the world premiere. As a student film, um, I'm definitely very honored and happy that I um, get to mingle with all the filmmakers mm -hmm. and as a female filmmaker, it's quite interesting. Yeah, like in what ways do you feel like it's interesting? Um, I would say physically, um, if if all the female filmmakers out there 
would probably understand what I'm saying. It, it's quite difficult to the physical challenge for girls, and sometimes mentally, it's not easy to um, to work with a bunch of boys because <laughs> I would say this industry is still male dominated. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but um, at the same time, it's it's very. I, I was very glad to work with. Joe Brown and my sound guy Jim Crawford and it just so happened my editor also is is female she's now in China now but we work collaboratively together very well and I'm looking forward to more of that kind of collaboration in the, later in my life great well um, and also kind of just spinning off a little bit about what you said earlier about going and 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 having grandparents that have dementia and, and Alzheimer's for you going in how did it feel to to be around patients and, and kind of going through those emotions as well and then also trying to get film done and that's kind of a question both of you can answer. Um, like I mentioned in the Q&A and, and after my film, um, I joke about like, um, when when I was back home, I watch a lot of soap opera mm -hmm. in the US so kind of Which is your favorite soap opera? Uh, Don't be shy. Mine's General Hospital. It's okay. <laughs> okay, I will do General Hospital. Too, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I would say it, it was tough. It was definitely tough that a lot of memories came back. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, we were prepared before before we went to Arizona. How so, much preparation beforehand did you do? Oh, we had a full semester mm -hmm. preparation. It started from pitching the idea and then research and uh, write a full proposal and treatment. So we have about four to five months for preparation. Wow. And is there any plans of turning it, would you want to turn it into a feature length? Actually, no. I think the film is very good the way it is now, 20 minutes. It's, it, I would say it's perfect length. I don't think people would want to sit and watch an hour of... Oh, no. I think people definitely <laughs> would. I think, especially as... As we get older mm. and our parents get older and our grandparents get mm. older and they're still so close to us, I yeah. think that we all go through that. And yeah. I think it's a cathartic thing to watch, for sure. I think, uh, yeah, the, the f we definitely have the f footage and the material to make it into an hour or even feature length. Mm -hmm. But I think for the message we were trying to tell, it's 20 minutes is perfect. The story is just what yes. it is. Yeah, yes. that's great. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um, from here on, uh, going on after Div, is, is there other places that people can see the film? Um, right now, since it's, we just premiered in Div, mm -hmm. so uh, we're still doing the film festival circle, cycle, circle. So um, my plan is to start putting it online next year. Great. And so it will be completely free for whoever wants to watch this film, and hopefully it will be a very educational film for um, nursing home or uh, hospitals, they are trying to take care of Alzheimer's residents. And definitely also for people who are going, who have family members yes, or friends. Yes, who absolutely. Well, thank you, Joe and Hannah. Yeah. It's been lovely chatting with you, and I hope the rest of the time at DIF is going to be great for you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot.